ignition on all three LS68 engines. Power clear. Vehicle has now begun the pitch over maneuver. Now 25 seconds into flight, the vehicle performance looks nominal. Core booster is now throttling down as expected. Core booster has now reached the desired partial thrust level. Vehicle performance continues to look good. We are now 5 miles in altitude, 5.8 miles downrange distance. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Mach 1, Delta 4 Heavy is now supersonic. Now at 110 seconds into flight, we are now 14 miles in altitude, 12 miles downrange distance. The second stage RCS system pressurization valve has fired, and the RCS is now pressurizing the flight levels. has now gone to close with guidance. We have three minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. That's for rocket, which is now weigh now weighs one half of what it did at liftoff, burning propellants at a rate of almost five thousand pounds per second. We are now 210 seconds into flight. We have 30 seconds remaining until the port and starboard booster engines cut off. Vehicle performance continues to look good with the port and starboard engines burning at the maximum power level, and the core R68 burning at the partial thrust level. Port and starboard boosters are now throttling down. The engine response looks good. Important starboard cutoff, and we've had separation of the two side boosters. Core booster is now throttling back up, and the maximum power level has been achieved. The upper stage lock system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL10 engine. One minute remains in the booster phase of flight. Upper stage fuel system has now begun the boost phase chill down sequence.
We're now 300 seconds into flight, flying at an altitude of 70 miles, downrange distance of 370 miles. And Pico. And we've had stage one, two separation. Deployment of the nets. And now ignition on the RL-10 for the first burn. Upper stage performance looks good at this time.